Avangard. Avangard missiles are Russian hypersonic glide vehicles designed to be deployed as multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. Payloads on heavy ICBMs such as the UR-100 UTKH, R-36M2, and RS-28 Sarmat. Developed in the late 2010s, they are capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional warheads at speeds exceeding Mach 25 during re-entry. Notable for their maneuverability, the Avangard can evade missile defenses due to its high speed and unpredictable trajectory. Advanced guidance systems and heat-resistant materials enable it to withstand extreme conditions. Its low radar and infrared signatures enhance stealth. Developed in response to U.S. missile defense systems, the Avangard entered service in December 2019 following successful operational tests. Dongfeng the Dongfang DF missile series, developed by the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, encompasses a range of Chinese ballistic missiles, including short, medium, and intercontinental variants. Originating from Soviet designs in the 1950s, DF missiles are distinguished by their solid fuel propulsion, high speeds, MIRV capabilities. Notable models include the DF-1, a short-range missile, the DF-21, a medium-range missile with anti-ship capabilities, and the DF-41, an advanced ICBM with a range up to 15,000 kilometers and speeds of Mach 25, capable of carrying up to 10 MIRVs. This series is vital to China's nuclear and conventional strike capabilities. Minuteman The Minuteman missile is a U.S. intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, and a cornerstone of the land-based nuclear arsenal, first deployed in the 1960s. Known for their rapid response, precision, and multiple warhead capabilities, Minutemen were the first ICBMs to use solid fuel and be stationed in underground silos. The Minuteman 1, introduced in 1962, was followed by the Minuteman 2, with enhanced range and radar penetration. The Minuteman 3, from the 1970s, featured multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, and advanced guidance systems. Today, the U.S. maintains 450 Minuteman 3s, each with a single warhead, stationed in Wyoming, North Dakota, and Montana, ensuring strategic deterrence despite never having been used in combat. Satan The Satan missile, officially known as the R-36M, is a Soviet-era intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, that has been pivotal in Russia's nuclear forces since the 1970s. Developed by the Yuzhnoi Design Bureau, the R-36M can carry up to 10 independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, with a combined payload exceeding 8,800 kilograms, 19,400 pounds. It boasts a range of over 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, and exceptional accuracy, with a circular error probable, CEP, of around 220 meters. Deployed in silos across Russia, the R-36M remains a crucial element of Russia's strategic deterrence, ensuring its capability to penetrate missile defenses. RS-28 Sarmat The RS-28 Sarmat, known as Satan-2, is a Russian intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, designed to replace the aging R-36M. Developed by the Makayev Rocket Design Bureau and first tested in 2016, the Sarmat is a heavy-lift ICBM, capable of carrying up to 10 heavy or 15 lighter MIRVs. With a range exceeding 18,000 kilometers, 11,000 miles, and advanced countermeasure systems, it can evade missile defenses. The RS-28's high payload capacity allows it to deliver hypersonic glide vehicles, enhancing its strategic impact. As of its deployment, the Sarmat represents a significant upgrade in Russia's nuclear arsenal, reinforcing its deterrence capabilities. Trident the Trident missile is an American-made submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, that succeeded the Poseidon and Polaris missiles in the 1980s and 90s. The Trident 1, C4, introduced in 1979, has a range of 4,000 nautical miles and can deliver up to eight independently targetable 100 kiloton warheads. The more advanced Trident 2, D5, deployed from 1990, extends the range to 6,500 nautical miles and carries multiple warheads with enhanced accuracy. Both versions are launched from Ohio-class and Vanguard submarines. The Trident missile serves as the sole strategic nuclear weapon for the United Kingdom and is a key component of the U.S. nuclear arsenal, offering significant strategic deterrence, advanced guidance, and extended range. Tomahawk. 
The Tomahawk missile is an American-made, low-flying strategic guided missile designed for striking land targets from naval ships and submarines. Introduced in the 1980s, it has a range of up to 1,500 miles and an accuracy of about 5 meters. 18.4-foot missile is powered by a solid propellant during launch and a turbofan engine for sustained flight. Its low altitude and small cross-section make it difficult to detect. Tomahawks use advanced guidance systems, including TURCOM and GPS, and can be retasked mid-flight. Notable uses include the Persian Gulf War, Iraq War, and strikes in Libya, Sudan, and Afghanistan. Prithvi The Prithvi missiles, named after the Sanskrit word for Earth, are India's tactical surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP. Initiated in 1983, the series comprises Prithvi 1, 2, and 3, each designed for different military branches and operational needs. Prithvi 1 and 2 use liquid-fueled propulsion for short-range strikes, with ranges of 150 km and 350 km, respectively. The Prithvi 3, with a range of up to 750 km, utilizes a combination of solid and liquid fuels. Deployed by the Indian Army, Air Force and Navy for both nuclear and conventional roles, Prithvi missiles have significantly enhanced India's strategic capabilities, with numerous tests demonstrating their effectiveness in various operational scenarios. Agni The Agni missiles, named after the Sanskrit word for fire, are a series of Indian ballistic missiles developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP. Since their debut in 1983, the Agni series has evolved to include several variants, ranging from short-range to intercontinental. The first test of Agni-1 occurred in 1989. The series encompasses Agni-1 through Agni-6, with ranges extending from 700 km to over 12,000 km. These missiles are designed for both nuclear and conventional roles, known for their solid-fueled propulsion and high precision. Integral to India's strategic capabilities, Agni missiles, including the successful Agni-5, bolster India's nuclear deterrence. S-400 Triumph The S-400 Triumph SA-21 Growler, developed by Russia's NPO Almaz, is an advanced surface-to-air missile system introduced into service in 2007. As an upgrade to the S-300 series, the S-400 boasts a maximum range of up to 400 kilometers and can engage up to 72 targets simultaneously, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. It employs various missiles, such as the 40N6E and 48N6 series providing both medium and long-range capabilities. Renowned for its high accuracy and multi-role functionality, the S-400 has been deployed by several countries, including Russia, China, and Turkey, significantly enhancing their air defense capabilities. M-45 Missile The M-45 Missile is a French submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, developed by Aerospatiale for the French Navy. Entering service in 1996, the M45 featured an extended range of 6,000 kilometers, improved accuracy, and enhanced penetration capabilities compared to its predecessor, the M4. Each missile carried six MRVs with TN-75 thermonuclear warheads. The M45 was deployed on Triumphant-class submarines and formed part of France's Force Océanique Stratégique. Notable tests include a successful launch by the submarine Vigilant in 2004. The M45 was eventually replaced by the M51 missile, with the last M45 retired in 2016. Lance Missile The Lance Missile is a tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile, developed in the 1960s and fielded by the U.S. Army from 1972 to 1992, primarily in Western Europe. Designed for short-range precision strikes, the Lance has a range of about 130 kilometers and can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. It features a single-stage, solid-fuel rocket and uses an inertial guidance system for accuracy. Its launch produces a noticeable plume, and its trajectory is predictable. The Lance was deployed by the U.S. Army and NATO forces during the Cold War for battlefield support and deterrence before being retired in the 1990s. Peacekeeper Missile The Peacekeeper Missile, also known as the MX, Missile Experimental was a U.S. Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, deployed from 1986 to 2005, developed as the most advanced ICBM of its time, featured a fourth stage carrying 10 to 12 independently targeted warheads, MIRVs, enhancing its firepower significantly over the Minuteman III. 
With a range of about 11,000 kilometers, it was highly accurate, using inertial guidance and satellite updates. Designed to evade Soviet countermeasures, it was initially based in Minuteman III silos. Only 50 were deployed, and they were retired between 2002 and 2005 under arms reduction agreements. Nike Missile The Nike Missile series, developed by the U.S. from the 1940s to the 1960s, was designed for air defense against high-flying bombers and ballistic missiles. The Nike Ajax, introduced in 1954, was the first of these surface-to-air missiles, featuring radar guidance and high-speed interception capabilities. It was succeeded by the Nike Hercules in 1958, which offered extended range, greater speed, and the option for nuclear warheads. Deployed primarily to defend against Soviet bombers, Nike missiles were stationed at key sites in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. They were phased out in the 1970s due to the 1972 ABM Treaty and replaced by more advanced systems, but they played a crucial role in Cold War defense strategy. Polaris Missile Polaris Missile, the first U.S. submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, was introduced in 1960. It was designed to provide a secure nuclear deterrent from submerged submarines. Polaris series included three models, the A-1 with a range of 1,400 miles, the A-2 with 1,700 miles, and the A-3 with 2,800 miles and multiple warheads. Each missile featured solid fuel stages and carried nuclear warheads. The Polaris was replaced by the Poseidon missile in the U.S. fleet between 1971 and 1978. In the 1970s and 80s, the U.K. adopted and adapted the Polaris A3 for its own nuclear deterrent before transitioning to Trident missiles in the 1990s. Poseidon missile The Poseidon missile, introduced by the U.S. in 1971, was a significant advancement in submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, replacing the Polaris system. This two-stage missile maintained a range of 2,800 miles but could carry up to 14 independently targetable nuclear warheads, doubling the accuracy and increasing the effective arsenal of each submarine. Poseidon's warheads were reduced to 50 kilotons, order of the Polaris's yield. At its peak, 31 submarines each carried 16 Poseidon missiles. By 1979, the Poseidon was phased out in favor of the longer-range Trident missile marking the transition to more advanced SLBM technology. Torpedo The torpedo, a self-propelled underwater weapon, is designed to target the hulls of surface vessels and submarines. Evolving from early naval mines and spar torpedoes, the modern torpedo was refined by British engineer Robert Whitehead in 1866. His design featured a compressed air engine, a depth control system, and rudimentary guidance bags. Today's torpedoes, such as the Mark 48 used by the U.S. Navy, feature advanced guidance systems, active passive sonar, and high-explosive warheads. Launched from submarines, surface vessels, or aircraft, torpedoes have played a crucial role in naval warfare, notably during both world wars, and remain a vital component of modern naval arsenals. V-2 Rocket The V-2 Rocket developed by Nazi Germany during World War II, was the first long-range guided ballistic missile and a precursor to modern space rockets and missiles. Created under Werner von Braun's leadership, it was first successfully launched on October 3, 1942. Beginning on September 6, 1944, B-2s targeted Paris, Great Britain, and Belgium, causing around 5,000 deaths. The missile was 47 feet long, weighed up to 29,000 pounds, and carried a 1,600-pound warhead. Powered by a liquid-fueled engine, reached speeds of 3,500 miles per hour and altitudes of 60 miles. Post-war, both the U.S. and Soviet Union captured V-2s, using their technology to advance their missile and space program. V-1 Missile the V-1 missile, also known as the Buzz Bomb, was a German jet-propelled missile used during World War II and the precursor to modern cruise missiles. The missile was 8 meters long with a wingspan of 5.5 meters and carried an 850 kilograms warhead. It traveled at 580 kilometers per hour with a range of 240 kilometers launched from catapult ramps or aircraft. Launched from the Paz de Calais area and other sites in German-occupied Europe, over 8,000 V-1s targeted London between June 1944 and March 1945, with around 2,400 hitting their mark.